Good morning. It is officially day one. It is officially day one. <laughs> and it is eight o'clock. Fresh as a daisy. Fresh daisy. Someone's been up since 4 a.m. Me. Little miss, let's relax today and chill. What we'll game is working? Every time I Itching. come to Florida, I um, always say this, my jet lag is worse going um, than coming back. Yeah. So yeah, we are it's up this morning brilliant. and we've decided to have a more chilled first day. So we're gonna get up, we're already up. We're, we're gonna, gonna, gonna go going? out and we're gonna go and... We're gonna go and get some breakfast. Where are we getting, where are we getting breakfast? Um, uh, I hop. I, I hop. Because these two are pancake fiends, so where else would you go for breakfast other than I hop? I haven't been to IHOP since 95, I don't think. I don't think I've ever been. So let's I've go never and, been. see what it's like. I've never been. Let's go see what it's like. Some people it's say great. around here it's not the best, but we're going to go and do that. Auntie Helen and Uncle Gary, they don't think it's very good. Like so it, we'll so. give our honest review of what we think IHOP is like. It's because The kids pancakes. will tell you. Um, can we just also say this room is uh, bigger than we thought, isn't it? Like yeah. It really exceeds expectations. So we... Air conditioning's brilliant. Air conditioning's fab. Like it's just, there seems to be like so much space. Our view as well. well, even though we're over the car park, I would choose this view over the swimming pool any day would you? because of the theme park. I praise. Let me show you quickly in the light of day what it looks like. So if you look right round this way, you can see some of the cool Florida gift shops. So you can see that. Around here as we showed you last night, you have Volcano Bay. You can see that the waterfall on the right hand side has just started this morning, which is great. Um, that is uh, Cabana Bay Hotel, those two towers and that bit just there. We have the Aventura Hotel, these are all part of Universal. The one with the blue awning on top, I can't remember what that one is. That's one of the lows, isn't it? Isn't it Sapphire Falls I think or Royal Pacific? Falls, it's one we'll of them. <laughs> um, yeah. Figure it out. And just behind that, you can see the peaks of Hogwarts poking out over the top. And next to it, this little point here is Velocicoaster. Then you have the Hulk Coaster and Doctor Doom's Fear Fall. And you can also see Rip Bride Rocket just there. So we've got Theme park and everything. We got theme park view. Theme park view, the terrible KFC. We also got Walgreens just around the corner. You can't quite see on here, but Walgreens is there. And yeah, this is our view. We are suitably impressed, aren't we? Yeah. Outfits for the day too. Outfits for the day. Look at this. Uh, look at the outfit. She's Matilda is very dressed she looks for Florida. Very Floridian, doesn't she? Yeah, Donna's dressed for Florida, and yeah. Blakey's dressed for Florida, even with his cool shades. Look, you've been a cool dude today. Should we go and get some pancakes? Let's go. Let's yeah, go. let's go. Pancakes. Yeah, and yeah, also, go and also me. very, very quickly, cool, first, Im cool. first impressions of the hotel have been really good. I ran down last night, so we had no bottles of water and no snacks. So I ran down really quickly, it was about 11 o'clock. So everything was closing up, so I ran really quickly into the quick serve place. And the staff were so friendly, I was like, oh my God, you're closing, can I grab some bits? And they were like, yeah, sure, come on in. So they were really nice, so, so far, so far, so good. So far, so good. So, let's roll. Down to the lobby. We stopped by Starbucks just to have a little look around. It smells so good. But look. The oh, sunshine oh, stain is really, 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 really gorgeous. Nice. They do one? it in red. Yeah, nice. Oh, is it the same, just different colour? It's nice. Can I get it? It's slightly different, isn't it? Yeah, when we come it's back. different design. That's cool. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, Matilda's just spotted these like. Of course she has. It's $19, which will be plus tax. But it's iridescent. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's very Matilda. We just come outside to have a quick look at the pool while we so go and find IHOP. It is extremely pretty. It's lovely. Look at it. So the camera's fogging up a little bit because it is humid. Yeah, it's very humid. It's very hot. I think it's 80 degrees already, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So it's hot. It's gonna get us all. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Our first lizard. Our first lizard. Hey, dude. Hey, buddy. Our first lizard of the holiday. Look at this pool. It's mad decent. Got a splash pad for Blakey at the zero entry part. This is good. So we just came out the back exit of Endless Summer just to head over to IHOP. Can we just take a moment to appreciate Florida? Look at this place. I just love it. And what an amazing thing about Florida too, we always mention is the grass. Like it's so much thicker and so much more coarse than back home. She's about to come. Everything about 
Florida, which is awesome. Sure, going to point out every time that I burst into tears. Mummy's bursting into tears a lot, but oh, this is like the happy place. This is the happiest place on earth. And we're back. So let's go and get my kids' favourite food, pancakes. And pancakes is the land, oh sorry, pancakes is the land? America is the land of pancakes. So yeah. if you can't find them here, you can't find and them anywhere. Browns. And hash browns. Oh yeah, good shout, Till. Let's go and find something. Let's do another appreciation post for the wildlife at the end of summer. It's so pretty. So pretty. This is a game changer for people that stay in like the Rosin and like other iDrive um, resorts. I would definitely recommend staying here. Yeah. It says a budget hotel, but it really isn't. It doesn't feel like a budget hotel, does it's it? It's so convenient. It's so convenient. Clean and convenient. From you, what I've seen so far, yeah. like that gate just out here onto iDrive, it feels so safe. Yeah, that gate you just saw us walk through, it literally pops onto iDrive and then there's um, the trolley stops literally right outside that gate. So yeah, you can hop so on the, the trolley. trolley. Yeah, the green line iTrolley is literally there. And you uh, yeah, can head up and down iDrive. And this is uh, in the summer dockside just here on the other side of the road. And this is where we are staying, Surfside. Be on the Surfside. See, I think just down here, up on the corner, should be IHOP. I but yeah, this is... So, talking about budget hotels, this gets you early access into Universal Studios too. Yeah, it does. Within that, yeah, yeah. that price. I just think it's really, really good. Yeah, definitely. The shower this morning was really, really nice, really powerful. Yeah. Towels were clean and fresh, felt really nice. It's amazing. Yeah, it was really nice. Oh, and just to point out as well, the shuttle bus is just there outside our hotel, taking people to Universal and Island of Adventure already. So, and Volcano Bay, Volcano Bay, Bay yeah. So, it's just there's free shuttle buses, it's just budget hotel or cheaper resort hotel. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. Oh, I can't knock any of it so far. Nope, not at all. I hop, I hop, I hop. She's so happy. Till is very happy too. So again, I've not been here since like 95, but you know, I don't remember a menu this big. This is amazing. Look at all this breakfast option. Holy smoke. Fr fluffy French toast, oh, waffles, omelette, coffee, coffee. This is for dinner, they've got all these things. This is cool. They do kids eat free from 4 till 10 at night, every night. Wow. And their, their menu looks quite good actually. It does look really good. Yeah. Let's do some breakfast stuff. Cinestack, oh, new double too. blueberry, Mexican tres leches, cupcakes. Man. Four New York cheesecakes filled with cheesecake. Oh. Don. Four pancakes filled with cheesecake bites. Topped with glazed strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing all-you-can-eat pancakes as part of their breakfast combo. Oh. Right, food has just arrived, Matilda. What did you get? Strawberry and banana. I got strawberry and banana. With a side of bacon. And a side of bacon. That's a happy face right there. Is it Lake has got... That's butter. I don't like it. Lake, do you fine. like butter? Thank you very much, buddy. Thank you. Um, Lake has got all-you-can-eat pancakes for $5. Oh, you can eat. Right, let's dollars. see. That's crazy. Oh, wow. Alright, and it's very hot. Yeah. Mum's got a you sampler yeah. with everything and a side of pancakes. Yeah. Mum's very happy. And I got blueberry with some milk cream. This is going to be the best day ever. Oh, my goodness, me. Welcome to Florida. I enjoyed the blueberry pancakes. It's safe to say, they went down really well. Mum's working through her sampler. Yeah, really, really tasty. Yeah. But I am since God, doing what my, is it filling? Since doing my um <laughs> fasting, I'm finding it more and more difficult to eat breakfast. But it's just really, really tasty. Yeah, mama. And like I've got pancakes, so. like he's been for a couple of pancakes. Yeah. Yeah. Well you can eat pancakes for five dollars and not for a complaint. No way, it's brilliant. And Tilda is really enjoying hers. Yes. What's the best bit about your breakfast, Phil? The banana She just discovered there's a big vein of banana that goes straight through the whole thing. So she is just in awe. And she loves the, loves the streaky yeah. bacon too. Yeah. This is Blake. 
What do you like? Do you like the pancakes? Yeah, uh, the pancakes. You like the pancakes, good boy. Yeah. Alright, so Dad is going in for his. <laughs> yeah, 100. Mum's side of pancakes that she couldn't eat. So I'm helping her. This is a service. And then Blake's being Blake. Um, Mum, how do you rate the food? 10 out of 10. Dad, rate the food. Mm. 10 out of 10. Food service, our waitress, Kathy, is lovely. Could be more tempted. Yeah. Really lovely. How did you rate your food? Um, really good. I got a full halfway. I got full halfway, as you can see. But it was still pretty good. We survived to get across the road. And we're heading to Walgreens because we need to get some bits. And it's right across the road from our hotel, see? Hotel. Walgreens. Is that a bar and get on free? Oh, okay. Off so good until the 26th of August. That's pretty good. Is that brand good? I mean, we're good for now. We've got the Audi stuff, but um, it's good to know it's here if we need it. So Walgreens, for people that don't know, is like a pharmacist with lots of other things. You can get it's snacks. Like Wilco's. It's kind of like Wilco's actually. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So we can get the old Orlando gift Donald stuff. Donald's for the old cheap, right, the yeah. old cheap stuff. That's what she does. Look at all these bumpers. And look, there's knockoff Disney's. That's what I'm talking about. This is Florida right here. This is so cute. Oh, I love these. They're like my old um, ones. Look. Oh, they are like your old ones. <gasps> love. Fiji water. Yes, Fiji, Fiji water. water. Funny story. Funny story about Fiji Water. We met the sister of the CEO, is it? Yeah, the person that found Fiji. Yep, and he purchased her a DVC, so she had loads and loads of DVC points that she used all around the world. We met her outside Sci Fi Diner in 2016. Flip flops, baby. Oh, water shoes. Water shoes, still. Oh, yeah. She needs some of these. She does. What are we in here for? We haven't told anyone. We're in here for like water and drink bottles. Really? Just little bits, just, yeah. just stock it up. Stock We're it getting up. water bottles with this. And, oh, postcards. <gasps> Magnets. <gasps> Magnets. <laughs> We're here. Honestly. It's okay, we need to get an end of summer magnet, not a pin, a magnet. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a stitch, a poncho. One. Because you're not going to see, you might not see that anywhere else. Yeah, it's true. <gasps> poncho. Poncho's seven dollars as well. Oh, it's not too bad. I'm sure you can get them cheaper in like Walmart or no, somewhere. No, I think they're about the right, about, about really? right. They got a Star Wars one. Oh yeah, cool. That's pretty decent. Take yeah. that. I said, Don, you know what we need, don't you? <laughs> and I went, you know what we need. We're here for the good stuff. Advil. That's a lot of multivitamins. Advil, you can't get in the UK. Advil is the best stuff ever. So let's try and find some. Fruit Loops, Apple Jacks, Pop Tarts, American Candies. Loads of Sour Patch Kids everywhere. No. Oh look, and there's some. Uh, Lock off Nigel t-shirts, huh? Fruit Loops, if I wouldn't get one free. Are they? Yeah. I'm never a big, big fan of Fruit Loops. I still dig them, but... Oh wow, look at all these candies. I'm coming. Oh yeah. So much reasons. <laughs> Dubs. Till's found a souvenir section. Oh, we've got this mug at home, I swear. Oh, cool. Oh, look at little Jack. What was Angel? I thought you didn't like Angel anymore. Oh, look, it's a little Kingdom Hearts Mickey. That's oh, cool. Is that a, That's um, one for Pam and Ash. Is that a, um... Oh, Pam That's a Kingdom Hearts Mickey. Is it a money box? I've just seen M&M's. Yeah, they are money boxes. M&M's are going and get one for you. Till you've got money boxes. I know, but this, not this. It's literally first, it's well cute. first, first shot and they're like... Look, lanyards, pins, Blake's like stormtroopers. Look, Blake, Jack Skellington and Sally. Cool, huh? Okay, so I'm not a big fan of buying souvenirs and things on the first day. But look at these key rings. Oh, holy smokes. They got Harley Quinn. Oh, Be of use. It's a magnet. That's mint. Love that. I love these little key holders. They're really cool. I love key holders. 
I'm about to get one of them. They're awesome. How much are they? Three ninety nine. I know they're really cool, right? How much are the magnets, roughly? Four ninety nine. It's not too bad considering the characters that are on there. What have you got, dude? Oh yeah, I see. What's this? Fan candy. Look, well, I found something really cool. These key rings are awesome, but it's uh, key holders. You put them on the end of your keys. Oh, Aren't they good? There's a stitch one too, when Tilda gets her key. That's a really good shout. Because we're getting you your own key cut for your house, for our house, that goes on the end of your key. Yeah. So you can tell it's yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look, there's a Jack and a Sally one. We can have for our keys. That's cute. I know. Yeah. We just found all these sweets here. They're three for what? Five dollars? Three for five dollars. That's pretty decent, isn't it? That's really good. You've got everything in there. Warhead, Sour Patch Kids, Icon Mikes. So we are in Ooh, very nice. m and in there too. Peanut you know m and Nuts, m and Reese's, Reese's Pieces. It's pretty good. And the Pringles over here are um, buy one, get one free. And they're $3.49 each. Actually, that's not too bad. I don't think. So they've got like every flavour you can imagine. We'll be getting these because they're Blake's. Blake's favourites. So yeah, we've got some few things. We've got ponchos, a water bottle for Blake. We're rocking. Okay, $82 later, we're out of Walgreens. To be fair, the expensive things we're going to get were like Advil and stuff. Yeah. Because they're always good to have. 100 Advil for, I think, $8, I think it was. Can't knock it. Advil's not the best medication in the world. Cures everything that ails you, trust me. I'll be taking some of that for my back. Yeah, you will. You alright, Till? So you're $82 later, you're out and we're walking around to the right side of Enna Summer to see if we can get in to the hotel from this angle. I think there's a gate actually just here. Aha, maybe we can get in just here. Well, that's a bit easier than getting that's around. much easier. <laughs> the other side is um, more scenic. We need a... I've got my... Oh, need a room key to get in. Room key to get in. Let's rock that. It worked. Oh, Made it through the gate. So that's a very quicker gate than going around the back, but the back was a nice little scenic route. Here's the main entrance in the daylight of Endless Summer Surfside. Really nice looking hotel. Really decent. So let's get back in and have a little wander around downstairs and see what this hotel has to offer. As we said today, we're kind of chilling. We're not doing too much, huh? Mowox. Yeah, Mowox. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, today we're just walking around, chilling, pooling. Well, we might go to the theme park later this afternoon, but we're not going to rush. Um, so yeah, we need to get our resort mugs. Yeah, that's on the list to do. Oh, that aircon hits you there. Oh, wee, that's better. Ah, nice. Oh, here we go again, a view of the nice airy lobby with our Starbucks there. The quick service is around there. The pool's up there, and behind the desks here, you walk down this corridor here to get to the um, shuttles. And that'll take you all the way to the different places. And we have a store. Nice. Is it dangerous to have a look? Is it dangerous to have a look? Ah, what's living a bit dangerously? Oh, is this a rug? If so, that's is it like a, a jumper, a scarf, a throw even? That is so nice. Oh my god, that's lovely. All my pot heads back home. Look at this. Oh, look at that stein. Holy moly, that's not too heavy. That's only $40. At the Harry Potter Studios tour back home, that would be easily 60, 70 maybe. So I found all the good Harry Potter merch. You can get all of your ties. Like you were back at the studios. I'm not sure how it was, $40, not too bad. You've got hair scrunchies, scarves. Hair bands, socks, bags, little Alice bands, seam hats. Now, what more could you want? You can get the wands and the wand stands, which are nice. Look at that baby. Good old Baldy. Misunderstood. We've got the robes here too. You can buy instead of buying them in the park. 
Again, they're about $100. Dark Mark t-shirt, I love that. Oh. We've um, got changed, we've been to the shop, and we've had to come down to the pool. It's pool time. So this little sproglet wants to get in, that little sproglet wants to get in, and this other little sproglet wants to come for a paddle. Yeah, because I don't do pool. It's not do pool. <laughs> right, wait a second, Blake. All right, so we're going to go and have a swim. We'll just look. Isn't it nice? Barely anybody in here today. Everyone's down the park, so it's uh, nice and quiet. It's always thinking about it. And just like that, we're back at the room. We've been swimming for a couple hours. A couple of hours. Couple of hours. It's what, half twelve now, I think, ish. So we decided to come out of the pool, we have to go to Universal, we need to sort out our tickets and stuff and activate them. It is rather hot out there, it is so very, being very by hot. the pool at midday is probably quite dangerous. Yeah, we've already caught the sun quite well. So it's got a mega tan already. We've got a mega tan on his legs, it's crazy. So yeah, we're gonna head into Universal now, get the shuttle transport, sort out tickets, Blake, do you want those? wander around the park for an hour or so, because it's gonna rain at like three or four o'clock. Um, clouds have started to roll in a little bit, but nothing crazy. Okay, one more one. So we're gonna do that. Let's go and see how easy this uh, transport is. Okay, so we've just come out the elevators. We're gonna turn this way into the lobby, past the old Starbucks. See how quick it is to get to these um, bad boy elevators. But the lady said it was easy to walk through here. Let's see if it's if it's true. Past the shop. But the nice lady remembers us. Luggage services, more elevators, towel one. And there's sort of the shuttle door out here, look. So we can just hop out here. And this is the bus stop for the resort. Or for the um, parks, even. That is how easy it is to get to your resort shuttle. I think this one is Volcano Bay. Well let's find out. Um, oh look at, the, look at the weather. Yeah, very nice weather. Can you see that alright? 95, 95, 97, 95, 95, 95. Consistently hot. Consistently oh. hot. Right, so I'm not too sure which bus is for which. We're all learning here Universal today. Universal Okay, so that That's one. Volcano. So this one here must be Volcano Bay, yeah, you're right. Universal, Adventure, and City Walk, yeah. So let's queue here. There is a bus. Let's see how long it takes us to get here. Yeah, yeah. Universal. Oh, yeah, look. Hey, bus. Yeah. Nice. Must come up around the front and then. Oh, back there's out. Volcano Bay. I'm just gone from. Yeah. Looks like I'm just gone from Dockside. That's cool. That's really straightforward, isn't it? Yeah. See what Easy. I mean. Budget or. I'm really impressed with this hotel so far. I'm not going to lie to you. How much? Was it £900? For Something like eight that. Pounds. For eight, day, eight nights, yeah. I think that's brilliant. I think it's a bargain, isn't it? Yeah. Considering what you're getting, I think it's really good. I think it's very, very good. So yeah, let's get on this bus. What did we say? King, King of the bus. bus. King of the bus. Tails mortified. So we just got that bus, we just got on it, pulled up the old push chair, and we're all sat down here at the back of the bus. Go ahead, Blakey. Are you okay, Blake? He's yeah. processing. I think he's a bit tired from the I think he's tired, but he's processing, I think. So we are on our way now to Universal, as we said. That was really straightforward. We'll see how long this takes. I can't see it taking very long. This is Blake's first time on a bus, ever. On a bus? Yeah, he's never been on a bus. Really? Yeah. Blakey, it's your first bus ride, ever. Are you excited? He's never been on a bus. Oh, dude. First time on a plane yesterday. First time on a bus today. Then you've got the whole bus to yourself. Pretty cool, huh? Is that, yep. It's a very, very hot afternoon. Bus ride took five minutes. 
and we're at the coach drop-off point. The surf side pick-up and drop-off point is the same place, so that makes it easier. It is warm. Very warm, it's scorching. Scorching on the old back. When they say it's hot in August, my goodness, it's hot in August. <laughs> Very hot. I can't actually see the camera screen, so I'm hoping I'm aiming at myself. I was saying this morning, oh yeah! See, we're talking about it being hot in August. Oh my god, it's roasting. Right it is there. roasting. It's middle of the day, so it's kind of our fault. So, um, yeah, we're going to head up Very now fun. through security and into City Walk and Where? over to guest services. Let's go. It feels good. I think we, me and Donna were saying, like, we didn't feel overly excited to go to Universal. Not because we don't like it. Not because we don't like it, because it seems like really familiar. It seems like we. I don't know. It's a really strange sensation. Yeah, like, you know that you're going back somewhere that you love and that you really like. And then the Back to the Future music hit on the bus. Everybody take it in. And the Back to the Future music hit, the smells hit, and now I'm excited. And now it's kind of hit me. I don't know what that is. I wonder if you guys feel the same. Let us know. Okay, security was about two minutes. Give that straight through. We just walked past the runway. Yeah, but I can't go on it with a stroller. Front tail will be this one. Tail this one. Go, Please watch your step. Look how cool you are, Till. Anyway, security was great. Two minutes, got distracted then. Um, yeah, and it was easy. As we said before, people coming out the parks. So it's a good time to come in. Really, really hot. So maybe not the best time to come in. Maybe we're being stupid, but hey. You only live once, right? Look at this place. Doesn't this bring back all the memories and all the feels? It feels like we were here yesterday, even though it was seven years ago. I see this crazy golf all the time on the vlogs and people say it's really good. I think we need to try it. We're going to try this, not in the middle of the day when it's super duper hot, but I think it'll be really cool to do. Look at it, it looks so good. Is that like mini golf? Yeah. It's decent, right? Is mummy crying yet? I did have a little. Did she? It's the Jurassic Park music that started going, oh there we go. Right, so we're going to head round to probably the Universal Guest Services as opposed to Island Adventure. I don't... Oh, I can see Hulk 2, that's my favourite ride. I don't think I'll get you on Hulk. I remember it being a lot more rickety than when I was a kid, even though they've re redone it. Anyway, let's go and sort out our tickets. Oh, yes. Back once again. Can't wait, and in one short month, I'll be going back through these doors for Halloween Horror Nights. Oh yes. Guest services is this way, I'm guessing. Oh my god, I can see Minions. I can see Minions, oh I can't wait. Super Silly Fun Land. <laughs> Minion Land even. Dude. Here we are, we made it through. Guest services, we've got Blake's disability access pass thing for Universal. We've got our tickets. We are rare, ready and raring to go for the next yeah. however many days we're here and decide to come to Universal. So this is all different. The Minion Land is very new. I can't wait to try some of this stuff here and go on the ride, it looks awesome. I feel like we need some aircon. I'm trying to avoid the stores because I know I'm going to want to buy stuff. Wait for minions. Yeah. So we've just done our first disability access thing. Because the ride was 45 minutes wait, they give us a return time and then we come back in 30 minutes and we go through the express queue. The new ride is only 35 minutes, which is nuts, and I love the theming outside here, it's so cool. All these different characters and stuff. And they do have meet and greets out here for some of the new um, DreamWorks guys, so I'm hoping we get to see some of that at some point. It's <gasps> Vector! Oh, I love Vector. There's lots of unicorns in Bake My Day. Should we go and have a little look-see? See what we can see inside the new shop. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's 
it's nice and cool. That aircon is amazing and that smells lush. <gasps> There's so much cool merch, it's well cute. How much would Emmy love it in here? I was just gonna say the same thing, if Emmy was here. She'd brought Emmy, I mean look. Bake my day. Oh my goodness, that is a <laughs> That's well cute. Got a thin version. Yours forever fluffy. They're cute. The problem with that is it's so white that there's only marks on these on the front, so they get dirty well quick, but they're so nice. Just checking out these really cool pins. Make my day. Oh, look at these. It's a cute hot tub. How much are they? $13. There's so much unicorn stuff in here, these treats. Birthday cake dough bites. Let's say how much they are. I can't see a price, what are these? Chewy unicorn treats, gummy candies, and these are gummy unicorns. There's a theme in this store. We have stumbled across the cutest hairband in the whole world. Little unicorn candies, lollipops. That's something special. Okay, so these pins are probably the most adorable pins. There's Bob looking for his teddy bear. There's Kevin with a cotton candy moustache. There's Bob again with his lollipop. I love these. This shop is so cool. There's so much cool stuff. Look at this. It's Bob blowing a bubble. Okay. I think I might have lost the girls in this store forever. How cute is this shop? Oh, it's the best shop. <laughs> best shop. Everything in the decor up here, look at the little candy up here, it's so cool. They've done it so well. I love this. Bank of Evil, where Vector's dad works. Oh, look at this. It's Minions Graffiti. That's awesome. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. So they've taken anti gravity potion. Now they're all flying. There's a theme behind it. What more could you want? Found a Minions Cafe. This was the Monster Cafe before. And that's all been redone. Yellow. It's been Minion Fight. We made it back for our return time. We are very hot. It's very warm. But we found a lot of water. So we've had a bit of snack. And now we're in the cube room. Yeah, we're in the cube for minions. Blake is very excited. I like the Blakey. Minions ride. Perfect. Hey, right, what did you think of the minions ride? Right. Was like it good? It? Yeah. The word he well used. Done. The word he used was that intense. minions ride was intense. It was very intense. How a four-year-old finds the word intense, I don't know, but he's got it. Either way, he had a great time and we just met um, Gru and Edith and Agnes afterwards and me and Gru were twinning. I forgot to get the camera out but we had some pictures so I'll pop them in right now. We've just also got a return time for um, the villain pub ride so we're going to see how that goes. We've got about half an hour before we can come back for that. So we're going to get some, um, some more drinks I think and maybe look at some more shops while we wait. Stay out of this heat. So the new villain con ride is awesome. Like so good. Okay. He absolutely loved it. It is stand on a walkway and shoot stuff and he was all over that. But yeah, it was um, it was awesome and he loved it and he was so good at it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna, he wants to go back on it tomorrow. He wants the gun. But he said if he's a good boy, he can have it tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. But now he wants to ride Transformers. That ride gave him a bit more confidence. He's quite up to things now. So we're thinking Transformers is a good idea. He likes Transformers. He said he's interested, so we'll see if we can call them. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's, uh, let's book it. You're dressed like Patrick Starter. So we have our return time for Transformers. We've come into SpongeBob Store Pants for a little look around and see. See what it is we can see. And there's a lot of stuff I would buy. For those who don't know, I love SpongeBob. Although I probably should. That's a 38 year old man. It's fine. Oh, they got a plate cut. We found it. That's really nice. That is really nice. Would you have Adam and Eve it? 
his shopping has been interrupted because Blake wants to meet Spongebob. Spongebob and Squidward. The dudes. Oh, I love Spongebob. Give me a high five. Yes. Hey Squidward, you feeling happy today? Yeah, you. You're always happy, right? Yeah, uh, you're with this guy. He's your favourite, isn't he? <laughs> and where's, where's Patrick today? Where's Patrick? Oh, he was here earlier. Oh, is he gone? He's done, yeah, he's probably going to go back under his rock for the night. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. He thought he'd been jellyfishing or something, yeah. you know? Yeah. Right. This is it. Should we have a photo? Should we have a picture of SpongeBob? Let's do it. The Transformers is in the books. I enjoyed it. Completed once. I don't, I don't think Donna would do it again. She found that a bit intense. I enjoyed it, but at some point it always made me poop my pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the words that Blake used were horrific. 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 And a horrific experience. So, four year old knows the word horrific. His vocabulary is insane. Um, he didn't enjoy it. He did come off crying. He was fine until we were getting up, and then he was like, I didn't like it. So. So we know great. that that level of intensity is a bit too much for Blake. That was intense. I wonder if he'll enjoy Spider-Man. It's similar, isn't it? I don't, I don't think he will. He does love Spider-Man, but I suppose he can decide if he wants to do that or not. But um, I'm waiting for the storms to roll in. I can see some. I can see some people in Nimbus over there. Like the clouds are really bubbling up over there, but it doesn't look like anything's happening just yet. I know things change here on a dime, don't they? So. It might be different, but uh, now we're going to have a little explore of Diagon Alley. Um, we haven't been there since 2016. Matilda since then has watched all the Harry Potter films and loves them. So now she goes back there, she's going to find this a bit of an experience. So let's go and see that dragon. That's how it's done. Maybe. Oh, that's really cool. She's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it is Till. Good spot. I didn't even see that. Here's Hermione's dress up in the window. That's cool. That's a cool little detail. Magical menagerie. If you want a cuddly toy of any magical creature, that's the place to get it. Till, a day to walk up to and say, are you doing magic? Let's see then. Go on, do it. <laughs> Till's just speaking to the Ministry of Magic. Till was reading the Ministry of Magic. What did they say? Oh nice. At least, at least we now know so we don't rock up there. That was fun, huh? That was really fun. Nice little Easter egg, speak to the Ministry of Magic. 62442. The, num the number's on the phone. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. So after that Harry Potter fun, we are going back to the hotel room. It's like what time's it five o'clock? Yeah, it's five past five. Five past five, still no rain. The clouds, I don't know where they are. It's not that they want to rain today, but um, it's still very, very hot. So we're going to go back to the hotel, grab some food from somewhere, I'm not too sure where. Could get something at the hotel, or we could splash out somewhere on iDrive. We made it back to the room. The trip on the bus was straightforward. We turned up, there was a bus. We got on it, got back in five minutes. Pretty straightforward. Like, that bus service is awesome. The universe was fun, we're all exhausted. It is... 20 past 6 nearly and we're going on iDrive for something to eat. We were going to get the iTrolley but we've realised that we're going to go to Applebee's and Applebee's uh, pretty much next door. Applebee's? Like it's the next stop on iTrolley so it's like a 10 minute walk if that. So we're just going to hot foot it over to Applebee's, get some food because I think everybody will be happy at Applebee's because they've got everything. So that's it. Let's take in the push chair. Hi like dude. Good yes. boy. And we're going to rock and roll down to Applebee's. Join us for some nice dinner. 
isn't it? We're here at Applebee's. It's very quiet. It was literally a five minute walk from the hotel. Really straightforward. We sat down with drinks and stuff. This is what? so nice. It looks really nice. What is it? It's like a slushy. Mango and strawberry. Mango and strawberry. No, no, mango and peach. Mango and peach. Oh, really so nice. I'll try a bit. Mm -hmm. Until I'll spill the beans. Taste test. It says in with big beer. Oh wow, that is nice. Isn't Holy it? moly, that's lush. That's well nice. Blake's just got his normal water. He's just being Blake. He had like a 10 minute nap, didn't he? And the, and the walk back out of um, Universal. Now he's got like a, listen to that. And now he's got a second win. Um, I decided to get a beer. She said, what, how, what do you want? Like a 20 ounce. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll have that. I didn't realize how big it was. Literally is a two-hander, it's like a Stein. I've got a Sam Adams because I love Sam Adams. It's my first beer of the trip. So cheers to Florida. Oh look, my napkin stuck to the bottom. Yeah. Cheers to Florida. I feel like Gaston. Well either way, the kids have ordered their the kids have ordered from the kids' menu. It's quite straightforward. I think it's like $6.99 for their meals. And me and Donna have done this um, I think it's two meals and a side for $25. Well, I think it's $28 actually out. Yeah. I totally forgot to film the food. Oh Either way, a steak, mash, broccoli, really decent. Broccoli is quite al dente, <coughs> mash is nice, steak really is nice. cooked perfectly. But yeah, it's decent, isn't it? Really, really nice. Kids' food looks good. It's come out very, very hot, so we've been cooling it down. It, like, it's being very dramatic, it's not that hot. Tilda's still calling down her chips. Mac and cheese is good though too, right? Tilda was very, very hangry and a proper sugar crash, didn't you? Yeah. But now she's feeling better. Yeah. <clears throat> Applebee's done. It's alright, wasn't it? It'll do. Nothing to write home about, but cheap, cheerful, Floridian food. Food. Excuse the eye trolley going past really fast. Um, but yeah, it was decent. It was we like, like 1990s. Yeah, it was. Sorry everyone, the battery died on the way back from Applebee's. Look at this sun-kissed beauty on the bed, look. Very sun-kissed. <laughs> we, uh... I'm going to bed! I know we're going to bed, we're all exhausted. It is quarter to eight, and we are super duper tired. Um, I'm probably going to go downstairs and fill up our drink bowls to make sure <laughs> they're done. But then I think we're going to have an early night and a hit. Islands of Adventure tomorrow, is it? Yeah. Let's see what we can do. I think the plan is to hit Hagrid's first. Yeah. And then. I don't um, need that. Well, let me move the bag, babe. Sorry. Bam Bam's moving around. Um, ah. Yeah. Hit Islands of Adventure, hit Hagrid's, and see what happens from there, I think. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot there for Blake to do tomorrow, like um, Dr. Seuss and what Where have you. He's going to love it. Blake really needs some aftersun. Like he's burnt his little sun, legs. Like you wouldn't believe. Oh my goodness. He's got a great tan line on his legs. Great tan on my lines. days. I'm not going to show you the boy running around in his pants no. on YouTube. But that's just asking for trouble. We are going to bed. Even though it's really early. So we will see you tomorrow at Islands of Adventure. Stay tuned. It's going to be fun. Right, Till? Yes. Tell the people to stay tuned. Stay tuned. Why? Because there's a lot of fun stuff coming up and <laughs> you should watch. Stay tuned. You heard it here first. Words of wisdom from the girl. Right, we love you. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you soon. Bye.